Good day, welcome to Multinet Design. In this tutorial, we are starting a fresh project and we is called Mini Library. So, in this library, we are going to be working on how to organize a digital library, giving you an update on how a, you can design a library for the purpose of a project that has been given to you. Let me give you an example of what I've done. So this is a library design that we've done. This is two floors, I mean ground floor and first floor. So in other words, there's a ramp where a disabled people can take off and we have a lot of things on the elevation. So let's dive into this and design the whole project from beginning to the end, one after the other. So our scope will not be limited to this, but come because beyond the, beyond this number of whatsoever we have here, but let's go on and start this project. So we are given a land that okay this is just normal a plot of land so i want to build a library that contains every facilities that a modern day library can have so what do you do go to uh, work and you start your project design briefly so what are the things that library and this we just have something like a reader space a computer lab route and the digital setting and so on and so forth so we have seminary and things like that so let's start in a great work. So here I'm choosing my so I want to select my normal wall and just this. So I'm picking up from here. So the holes, this is not a side, it's just a block work that we are going to do straight up. So I'm giving it like okay, I'm starting by starting by saying my first piece is going to be let's say three thousand two hundred to click. So I'm going to design everything one after the other, room by room. So you follow the techniques and get the idea of what I'm doing. So I'm picking by 400. I'm getting this one done here. So I'm putting another one at this level, like 300. So I'm putting it here again. So let it go. And then start with, let's say that uh, this one there, because I'm going to have staircase as well in this particular project. So this is another one. So here, I'm doing it in a simplified method and it's going to give me a piece of mind. So this enclosed area. So I'm doing this one, drag it down and then get it at this level. So the next one is going to go hot down again. So click on the wall, on the wall. So I'm going to select this. So I'm going to give it this level. So it's just like a design and an office building in a technical manner. So all you just need to do is to understand what are the things that the office require and then test. So you'll be able to categorize and center your design based on the ideas of what you know plainly. So I'm getting this one there. So I'm bringing this shape one after the other to get my orientation right before I proceed to building each one of them in the structural pattern so I'm getting this one here mm, just let's close it at this level okay and then push it like a one bit so draw it down you're not going to leave this one here just take a measurement this is a standard rule okay that's a three point something a little bit tricky, so you expand it like 4500. The center good, so let's see that is done at that level. So, put this one down here at the same time. Mm, what should we do to this one? Remove this one down and then put this one here. So, pick it up and then close it. So here, I'm going to close this one down here. So what am I doing with this one is something that I will go give the spacing. So this time around, I'm going to put the whole space in position as I'm doing this design. So now, this is the form I wanted to take, and this is the pattern in which I have already created. So I need to be giving this space name one after the other, and I'm going to put them the names of each and every one of them. I'm going to continue to write what I need to write about them so that everything will look realistic and confident. So what am I doing here now is that I'm going to put this space. I'm going to expand this one 3,000. I'm going 
I'll give you three thousand four hundred. Sleep. No, sorry, three thousand four hundred, not two thousand. Three thousand four hundred. So expand it. So now I'm starting by putting the reading and everything in the place wherever it's supposed to be and where what it's supposed to stay at. So I'm putting this one expand. This is four eight and four eight. Let me divide this into two. Good. So the concept of this are coming up one after the other. So I'm going to put this one, let's say a temporary dimension for everyone to see what I'm doing. So it's a, a temporary dimension here. So this one is so a little bit tricky. So I'm going to expand it because this is where I want to put my staircase. So 1900 for that matter. Or let me just use 2000 because this is a public way. So supposed to have adequate uh, spacing. So I'm selecting this because this one is too small now for me. So I'm standing everything so that I accommodate that position. 3,900 is too wide, so I'm reducing it to 36. Good. So that is this for that. Now I can now begin to uh, des designate each position for every one of them so that they will have their own positioning and the spacing. So what am I going to do here is that I'm creating, I'm putting on the openings. So click open, click on architecture and set up what was your door. So at this place, put the door here. Let one door so here, then another door should so come here, then another door should so stay here, then another door at this particular level. So some of them maybe they not require the game. We have to remove them at the point. So. Like here now, I'm going to have door at this level, and I'm, I'm going to put door here as well for the main entrance. So I've done with this one now, and I'm going to do something else. Like I'm going to cut this face into two, so that it come like this. Good. So let me check the dimension because this is where I'm going to put their confidence. So what I mean by confidence is their toilet and the for male and female. So we're going to be there. So I'm pushing it a little bit 21, which is okay for me. So I'm going to introduce door to this place as well. Oh, sorry. So I'm going to introduce the door here. So that's the door will be here. So what next do we need to do? So we have to go there now and create a floor, which is what this lab. So select that and go to pick line this is my favorite pattern so i use pick line to do whatever i need to do because i don't need to be worrying about i just need to snap them to the wall and everything is intact so toggle of the the shadow that the shadow we off where is the shadow of so the shadow will completely off and then then i'm bringing this one because i want to have something reliable here yeah, so i'm creating this finish it up so click like this get on go on go on twice i think uh, so i can click finish on this level to so expand the crop if you have the same similar issue, so I'm explaining now. My template has already been telling you that I always use my own template that I've created. So, the, the, the famous tutorial is on my YouTube channel. You can only check how I created my own female that I'm always reuse and reuse. That's why it's always me starting from the this. I don't start from this class like pinging to. If you want to see how I created my template that I'm using, I've given that tutorial. And it's there one of the popular just right how to use create templates in what in uh, Revit 2024. So now you click here and then you let's say this one is going to be something like Africa because this room is too large. So just you never let's say designate what you want to do with that one. So we are done with this little spacing, break this into two because I said this one is going to be for the staircase. So we've never done with this one, you click this one, then you expand this, you single-handedly size it down. So what do we need to do now? We now need to designate the position for each and every one of these. So what do we do? Come to annotate, 
after that with more easy you know what you want to do so at this ground floor we're going to have uh, those are the things that this uh, library contains so we should make sure that you understand them very well so the library contains one reader space this is an open space for the reader so you're going to type it reader reader space so this is where the readers are so the second one will be we have post room you must have post room that is where the letter and every other thing will be always getting for you post room good so the next one you need to have is uh, you need the seminar or the lecture room so let this one be there seminar slash lecture room so that is there then we have a uh, at this function we have a cafe or digit cafe because you know we are dealing with digital issue on daily basis cafe and what and digital digital book so we have that in place that the next thing you need to have is deputy librarian office whether deputy or the main librarian so i'm going to put deputy here deputy Deputy Liberia. Liberia. So you need to hope his stuff is there. Then the next person that we have a, we need to have a locker. So that's where some many library and some important book are going to be placed. So I have that as a locker. So this is the major entrance that is called it entrance porch. So that's the major entrance. This is entrance, and I think we have done with this. So let's say attendance. So people are going to be attending to you, like they are going to be here. Attendance. Attendance. So this is where, this is the volume of this. So we have this one as a toilet or convenience, which is used for the guys. This is because of the winner and every other thing that will be there. We call them gents. So then we have this one as a ladies, so it's for the female. Ladies. So you have that in place and things done. So you have to delegate and design this space on its own. And that's what we want to do for now. So you pick up from here, click and say demarcate. So you demarcate all these things that you just need to have three of them, three, three each. So we are going to repeat itself on the upper floor so from there you select this and say where is the annotation so you select a line and you pick center line so from the center line you just do what make sure that they are equal so you click on the equality you do the same thing here as well so that you're not you are not going to be biased so this one is accurately stay so you delete this one just say okay and constraint is being removed then you now start putting the door so when you pick similar you change this one to toilet door because it's not going to use the same big more doorway like this one so let and say edit so duplicate this and call it toilet door so click ok at that level then you define by change this one to normal height and change this width to seven 50 then you start placing and placing and placing and placing placing and placing so that is what you do there so you close this one again because it's a library that is need to be exposed so this are going to be arena and things like that so you click here though and bring another in this space as well so when you look at the whole system and everything is symbolized and systematically stay in the place so what you don't need to do is to put and um, arrange the furniture templates in place so like this one the library i'm going to put this one as my as a toilet for the library so i'm bringing doors to this one so the deputy library is going to have its own separate toilets to be used but it's not going to be taking the whole office so by clicking here select this and define this so here you're going to the expose this position as well so i'm quitting the here now by changing this epic coast and rename this site so here 
and if he uses this space for his home benefit he can, he can hide something yes around this place so he has his own personal self or whatever he wants to have so by the time we are doing the template of furniture we are going to be putting those things in order so this is how the 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 design and the plain reference of this thing is being gotten so i'm going to change this one because i don't like this font so i'm changing the font so techniques as everybody's note my techniques board so i'm going to use that particular one so this one changes i'm increasing the the text size which is going to be 3 here i'm going to put that one here so that it be stable so i'm reducing this so seminar and lecture room ladies and gents so things like that so i'm having this w2 librarian cafe and the digital book so i'm putting that with that digital book attendance okay for me so this attendance i'm increasing the a little bit so i have it here like this so this is the library and you look at it i'm getting the form together so that we're going to arrive at this particular design fundamental so i'm going to continue on this one after i've done this read so what i need to do is now to create a temporary table structure for this and the reader and everything to have their home pattern so you can do that by yourself instead of putting the whole getting the whole chair and everything because i don't think i'm going to do studio for this one course I just want to get the plan right for everybody who wants to learn library because it's a different thing. Something that you don't have normally see too much on YouTube. Somebody teaching all these kind of details. So I'm going to do that for now. So select annotate, then click on this. I just want to do the select this one and say the table. So it's going to be this this kind of pattern of table that we're going to be using. So I'm selecting this middle point. Then select this middle point. Good. So that is one. So I'm going to represent it with something here, like here to here. Uh -huh. So click on this one, and you see copy. I mean rotate with copy. So you drag this to the middle. So what do you do? You bring this one here. So something that is not, the address width are not what, are not the same, and are not accurate. So here yeah, you can just mirror this. Okay, this one you mirror it as well. Okay, so from here you select this and select this one. You mirror them. Then you select this two, and you mirror it. So you do the wonders in that manner. So you just need to do what copy this one and group them. Group and call it uh, the union table or union seats. So that's be there. So now you need to copy this and copy it around. So copy this one and place it here place it here and depends on the number of people that are sitting down in the library so we can still come and rearrange it for now this is what we are going to have for here so here i'm not going to put the, the local system is going to be watched over by the attendants i'm going to split this expand the whole space and then remove this barrier then remove this barrier so this one i'm going to annotate it by say detail line so this detail line is going to go around so the you can arrange yourself and also as well that they want to arrange in this place so that is it so in this small little level of project that the finding i have able to do some little things about the deciding factor so this is level one so in the next video we are going to continue with the projects as we all know that our series this is a series for a while now that's going to continue so your attention is to learn a library which is one of the things that has been giving you edic so this is just a little bit of formula for you to know what is in uh, in the library and continuing to follow us one after the other to finish this project. Thanks for watching.